Welcome back everyone, and this is going to be another God Roll Weapon video. Now the weapon I'm doing today is going to be the Siege Breaker. Now, you might realize it's actually the Scar from Battle Royale, so don't get confused. Siege Breaker and the Scar, they're literally the same weapon. Rolls I have on this is Fire Rate Magazine Size, Nature, Crit Damage, and Damage to Afflicted Targets. I'm not going to go in depth with them because I don't think I really need to. I don't really find any reason to go in depth. I need about 200-ish more Legendary Perk Up. So that's actually two two missions I need to do. Then I'm going to have a mission showcasing the weapon. I think the two missions I'm doing today is going to be this 82 retrieve of the data. Should be relatively easy if I get teammates. And then this resupply here, which I can just do by myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop into this retrieve of the data as my first mission. All right, so I've loaded into the mission. It looks like I actually did get someone on my team, but they're not super high power levels. So I don't know how much help they're actually going to be. But this mission... I have to look for a weather balloon, which is pretty much just like a, oh yeah, right there. It's pretty much just like a supply job from Battle Rail. I have to go over to it. All right, so now I'm at it and I basically just have to build around it. It's basically like a defense mission. I don't believe I've actually done a defense mission in a video. I've done missions that are like kind of really easy and don't really, really need much thought process, but I kind of want to change it up a little bit. I don't want to keep doing the same missions over and over again, because that's just boring. Nobody wants to watch repetition of the same stuff. Yeah, I pretty much just got to build this defense real quick i kind of forgot that this mission is a lot lower of a power level than i am currently so i really only need to build a box around it and i guess i'm gonna put some traps down all right, and there we go. I place all the traps down. I think I can just start the mission now. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. There we go. Got to put some air traps down. And I guess I'll just upgrade these uh, floors and ceilings to level three metal too. Because why not? All right, there we go. Now everything is upgraded and trapped. So I guess I'm going to start the mission. Hopefully my teammates actually um, vote yes in the activation. There we go. Now I just shoot it down. And there we go. And I just got to defend the weather balloon pretty much. It's not really a hard mission, but I do need to kind of focus so they don't destroy the uh, balloon or the thing that fell from the sky. Okay, it looks like this mission is going to be really, really easy since um, all my teammates are actually helping. It was kind of just uh, sitting here and shooting guys and not really have to worry. I thought it was going to be a bit harder, but I guess I'm just really overestimating the missions I do. Looks like that guy's having a lot of fun shooting that sniper. That's loud in my ears. God, all I hear is that sniper. Why is it so loud? Oh, the mini boss is here. See how easy it is to kill this guy. Oh, he's trapped vulnerable. Ugh. Oh, I want him to kill. Oh, never mind. I see what this guy's doing. Okay. Oh, he already died. I didn't even really get to see him die. All right, I, I've just finished the mission. I didn't really have much to say, though. Like, the mission was just really, really easy to do, so I didn't really have much to say. I mean, I am done with it. All right, so the next mission I said I was doing is this resupply right here. I'm actually going to turn this on private because I don't want anyone joining me because I want all the materials to myself because I'm greedy like that. All right, now I'm in the mission, and I've already kind of showed this mission in previous videos, but if you still don't know what this mission is, I basically have to destroy the things on the left of the screen, destroy trees, cacti, rocks, and search anything. Um... Uh, um, so I guess I'm gonna get to punching. All right, now I'm done with the rocks. Now I'm done with the cacti. And now I am done with the trees. There we go. Now I just need to search 18 more things. And now I'm done searching things. Now I pretty much just gotta harvest whatever I can. I mainly did this specific mission so I can get metal and so I can get that perk up. I guess I'm just gonna harvest all of the cars I can. All right, so I think I've harvested about every vehicle I could find here. There isn't an absurd amount of vehicles, so it's really easy. Now I just gotta kind of sit here for three minutes and wait until the mission is over with. All right, now that I have the legendary perk up, I can go ahead and make this god roll. There we go. Now, we need to actually look for a mission that's water because water husks are actually weak to nature weapons i guess i'll just look for a mission real quick that has a water modifier you know what i'll just do this 140 build the radar so i can actually do the mission i want to show it off against water enemies because that's what it's what a nature weapon is good for but i don't really think most of you care so i'm just going to go in this 140 and kind of show it off in a 140 zone i'm also going to use my loadout from last video now, i don't think i really need to go in depth with this because well i explained it in my last video you should also go check out that video i spent a lot of time on editing it so please go check it out it means a lot right, so i'm in the mission now and i need to go ahead and just craft one but i need to get a, i need to just look for enemies to kill real quick okay these are nature guys this still should work pretty well oh that is actually uh 
pretty strong. I do have a guy in here that is boosting me. I don't really know what power level he is, but... Singo is still putting in some work. That fire aid is definitely helping it. Yeah, I wouldn't say that this thing is super, super good, only because I don't have all the damage perks on it that can make it a lot better. And I'm also not a high enough power level to really show what this thing is capable of doing. Still, this is doing a lot of work. Now, if you are a Save the World player, want to know what to make your Siege Breaker, putting fire rate and magazine size on it could actually be a very, very good thing to do, considering this thing is shoots pretty slow and it has a very small magazine. But if you are trying to go for like a damage build, I would do like crit rating or like maybe double crit damage. I don't know if this weapon can do that. I just did this because my friend actually has a siege breaker that also is very similar to this, but he has reload speed instead of crit damage, which, you know, it, 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 it is okay, but this thing already reloads pretty quick. But I actually do need to start building these towers. I'm gonna go ahead and just build this tower real quick. There we go. There's a first tower done. Oh, what the hell? Where all these guys come from? They're breaking my shit. They are. Stop it. And here comes more. Oh, they just don't stop. Where are they coming from? Oh, here's some water enemies. So I guess I'll see how good this is against them. I mean, they are a little... Where they're not really like the bigger husks. But, you know, it, it still is doing a lot of damage. Regardless if it's the water or not, this thing is still putting in a hell of a lot of work against these guys. Oh, but f see, fire enemies, this is what uh, the nature is actually weak to. Yeah, nature is actually weak against fire. There's like a whole thing where each element does strong against one element, and but is weak against another element. Save the world is really in-depth. Where do these guys keep coming from? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this encampment real quick. Oh, my teammate just built a fourth tower. And I cannot catch a break from these guys. They just keep spawning. God, leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Now I can resume building this tower. There we go. There's a last tower done. So now I can just chill for the rest of the mission, but I do want to look for some stronger enemies to see how good this actually does against them. Oh, okay. There is actually a somewhat stronger enemy right there. I think my teammate might actually kill it. Right, let's see how good this does. Wow. That was, um, what you call deleted. I'm a pro builder. All right, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna find like the strongest enemy, which is a smasher. They're the big guys that uh, kind of charge at you. But if I do find one, I will uh, cut to that right now. But if not, I'm just gonna go ahead and farm for the rest of the mission. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Yay, it's a non-toxic gamer. Let's go. <laughs> right, so that's pretty much been the video. If you guys enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, and leaving a like would really, really help get people to see this video. Even if people don't click on the video, just getting the video to, for people to see it like on the recommended would mean so much to me because I actually know how many people see the video so it means a lot to me if you can leave a like but yeah that's all i have for you guys for today uh next video might be the grave digger uh because i want to have a weapon of each element but i don't know that might be it i don't know i might have a different video plan i'm not sure yet but yeah that's been it i'll see you guys in the next video peace out